Ground number one, gross violation of articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27, 4, 731A, and 2B, 75, 1C, and 129, 2 of the Constitution, and articles 147, 1, as read together with article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. Two, gross violation of articles 147, 1, and 152, 1 of the Constitution by undermining the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of the national government's executive mandate. Number three, gross violation of Article 6, 2, 10, 2A, 174, 186, 1, 189, 1, and the fourth schedule to the Constitution by undermining devolution. Four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decis decisional independence of judges. Number five, gross violation of Articles 3.1 and 148.5a of the Constitution on the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Number six, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under Section 13.1a and, and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Number seven, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes under Section 45.1, 46, 47A3, and 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, and Sections 2, 3, 4, and 7 of the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act. Number eight, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes by continuously misleading members of the public through false malicious, defensive, and insightful remarks that are contrary to the provisions of Section 132 of the Penal Code and Section 29 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. Number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the Office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined the work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Number 10, gross misconduct by openly or publicly insubordinating the president who is the head of state and government. And lastly, gross misconduct by persistently bullying state and public officers. Honorable senators, you may walk in and take it.